Morning, everybody. Nathan Brooks, sales representative with Sutton Group Select Realty. We're up and at it nice and early here. I thought I would put a quick video together. Uh, we had a question of the day come across my desk uh, not too long ago. This one actually stems from a client who owns a duplex. And the previous owners had actually purchased both units. So the as some of you may know, when it comes to real estate law, if you actually purchase you know a property side by each, in this particular example, um, if they're under the same name, go figure, those properties actually merge. So in this kind of scenario, like I said, the previous owners had already merged the two properties. So now you have a duplex with one PIN number, so an identification number, one invoice from the city in terms of property tax. But we talked at length about future values. And in many cases, two separate properties would probably have you further ahead from a value perspective, uh, especially when it comes to a duplex. So the question was, how do we reverse this? And so we reached out to the, the lawyer here and just confirmed a couple things. Very, very high level. Can it be done? Yes, it can be done. Reach out to the city, apply for a severance, probably going to cost you some money, maybe in and around the $10,000 mark, maybe more, maybe less, depending on who you know, um, and how quickly things can be expedited. But again, bring this back to the original uh, equation. If you're looking at maybe purchasing the lot next to you, maybe it's a vacant lot, and you love the idea of having a double wide, a double lot, just ask yourself, long term, where is our strength? You know, do we have a future play here in terms of a value? Maybe it's uh, maybe we're a little further ahead, Maybe the lawyer can recommend something in terms of maybe putting that second property into a different name um, so that you can keep things separate. Because as you can see, once you've already connected the two and you've already merged, it's not 